own an online shop in today's video i'm going to show you how to create an online shop load products publish it live and you can start selling your products today and all of this is free so to create your own online shop you have to come to spreadshirt.com but there are other companies which offer the same service and we call this type of niche print on demand so what basically means it means uh all the trouble of creating the product, printing, delivering, sits with the manufacturer. And what you do, you just market that product and you basically upload your own logo and then create a design, which I will show you. So Spreadshirt is not the only company that does this. There's also Shopify, Printify, Etsy, Redbubble. There's actually more which you can choose from. So for this purpose, I'll just show you using Spreadsheet because I already have a store with Spreadshirt. So what is Spreadshirt? So Spreadshirt is a German e-commerce print-on-demand company for clothing and accessories. So it operates in Europe and North America. Customers can, can access product design by other or create their own design. It allows vendors to create shops. Spreadshirt owns and operate printing factories. So this doesn't only um, operate on um, these countries, it actually operates worldwide. So a person in South Africa or any other country can just uh, place an order on the website and uh, their, uh, their delivery will happen. So just so I show you the shop before we even go any further so you can see what kind of shop I'm talking about. So this is the shop that I already created and I have um, with two brands. One is Push My Limits and the other brand is Child of Grace. So um, I basically created the logo, got someone to create the logo. And if you don't have anyone to create the logo for you, I'll put a link on fiverr.com where you can just get logos for $5 or even $10. So all you need basically is this logo, which you're going to upload while creating your product like this one. Can you see the Push My Limit logo? That's the logo that I got someone to create. So I basically sell different products. So you upload the logo once, but then there's a whole lot of things that you can sell. Hoodies, um, sportswear, and accessories. And there's just more which you can sell. And since I uploaded two designs, uh, it shows both designs. And I mean, this is something nice that you, anyone can do and sell and looking at this they also have this kind of modeler as if it's someone real who's modeling this so they just basically put this face i don't know what they call that in english and then you can change the colors of this when you buy a, a customer can choose any product that they want so it can be even be gray so that's the nice part of it and then all they do they just click add to cut to cut and the person can just buy that after checking out so this is a shop and also have accessories so let's just look at maybe phone cases because uh, young people they love these phone cases so you can just create a nice design there's even uh, mugs uh, where are mugs there's even mugs let me see oh here yeah. mugs and drinkware so you can see i mean it's nice to have something like this especially waking up and just feel like you want to push your limit. Drinking coffee from this a cup can be and nice. And then there's also baby stuff. So there's different um, uh, departments, uh, dresses as well. And I also have a favorite dress, this dress I really, really love and I think I'll buy soon. So you can see if a product is not available, like this one is temporary out of stock. So a person cannot. So basically this is the shop we're trying to create but obviously it will be your shop and the only thing that you will have is the link like this which you will send to people and for each and every time people buy and you get a certain percentage so for example look at this dress is 37 point 37 point nine nine so you find that um spreadsheet maybe will probably take um 80 percent and then you get 20 percent they will just tell you when you create the specific de design how much percentage you're going to get but just thinking about it with the headache is not sitting with you you're just getting commission for referring people to this shop so that's how you will have so let's just get started so you will go to spreadsheet.com and you will click here to get started and you click register now
and you will enter your email address and click I am not a robot and click get started job. So if you want to shop, this is when you want to buy something. So you will come here and just select whatever it is. You see, there's a lot of people who are creating diff different designs and things that looks nice, like your face mask, especially now these ones are, are, are trending and there's more. So your product will also be sold in spreadsheet and also outside when you share your product. And there's even gym bags. There's just more which you can uh, create caps and heads. So, but now we're not interested in, um, in selling, in, in, in buying. So let's just start selling. So you click start selling. And then what it, it does, it, it shows you where you can design. You can sell on Marketplace or open your own T-shirt um, store. After registering, you click Start Selling. And it will open this uh, page. So what you do in this page, you scroll down. So you have a, an option to go to showroom to see all the products that you have. But then now we want to set up a spread shop. So you can also create one product by clicking uh, create a product and create just one product. But then now we're going to create the whole shop. So we're going to click there and click open shop and then name your shop. Uh, let me say, let's say Bonnie. And then open. So I'm selecting this one and it is selected. Now it's open. You can basically design your product. And then it says, hello, Bobo. I mean, Boni. <laughs> I call it Boni. This is my daughter's shop. And then this is how the shop will look. So, but now we need to add products to this shop. And then we need the logo. So she doesn't have a logo, but for this purpose, I'll just uh, use one of my logos. Let's use this one so you can apply now the logo will look like this and then they do give you the size so when you go to your um your graphic designer or even fiverr you must make sure that these are the sizes so you can always replace this later it's just for this purpose i'm just showing you guys and then you can choose the button you can change the colors here if you want um, you can choose this color and you see it changes, but I think I like this one. So you can select the background of, of your shop and also if you want it transparent, you can just select transparent. And then you can save that. And now we're going to create a, a product. So you're going to upload your design. We use the same design. And then this is the design. And then you select it. Now you need to decide uh, whether you want to sell outside spreadsheet as well. So we want to sell anywhere where we can get sales. We can just sell in marketplace. We can sell in our shop as well. So you click next. Now can you see you have all the products um, that you can sell. But then look at the logo now, it's not transparent. So make sure that you ask the person who's creating your logo to make it transparent. So we can go back and fix that because uh, we want the logo to be transparent. So I'll upload another one because I think I do have a transparent one. Okay. I don't have a transparent logo, but then that's not a problem because we can just go to um, PG, remove. This is to remove the background. And I'm sure by now you know how to do this because there is a video that shows how to remove backgrounds. So we have this, you can just download this if you don't have. And, and another thing you can do, you can create these logos for yourself if you're confident you can do one. I'll just show you roughly where you can create this logo.
And then now the logo is transparent. Can you see the logo is transparent? So this one, let's see if we can delete. Yes, we can delete. So we have this. We want to sell in both places. Next. Can you see now it looks better? So now you'll need to go to each and every product template and edit. This is, this is just to move the, the logo. So for example, if I were to go here and edit and also set up the price, you can see it's here. So if you want it to be bigger, no, if you want to move it, because it will put the recommended side and then you click apply, but then you can also change, change color so you see how it looks. In white, it will look like this. And then you can go to all of these uh, designs and change. and change the colors also. So these are different colors, two colors, you can see it on the side and click apply. So you do the same thing, can you see now it's properly positioned. You can do the same things even with the hoodies. Click apply. I think you understand what I'm trying to say. So you click next when you're done doing all those um, changes and then you need to describe your design. So what's your design? So I'll say it's push my limits. Yeah, and then you put the description, you put the text. So text is what people searches on, on Google. So in order to optimize your shop, you need to put shop text. So maybe you can put things like shop online and um, buy online. And text, it doesn't matter if the spaces so you add uh, whatever it takes, choose at least three fitting, so you choose. And then after you click create, okay, then you'll have to add these details. So now your shop is available. And then you've done this part, you've done this part, and let's see, Let me continue. And then you will just read more of this, but then um, on payment data, how would you want to be paid? So I always recommend that um, you use, if, unless if you have a Stripe account, if you don't have a Stripe account, use PayPal, because all you need is just an email address. And I do have a video of how to create a PayPal account. You complete, okay. So in this page, you must make sure you complete all your details and select South Africa. Otherwise, when you get to the text details, it will ask you to enter like American, maybe text number, but you don't want that. So you want to make sure that it's South Africa and then you'll enter your address, your email address as well. And then you'll come and choose your username. So this is will be like your shop. And then you enter your password and this is what you use to log into your shop. And then you'll enter your banking details. How will spreadsheet pay you? So I, I advise you should use PayPal. I do have a video on how to create a PayPal account. Unless if you have a Stripe account, which is like an international bank account. And then when you get to this side on tax information, you click not taxable in the USA. And then here you'll add your South African tax number. If you don't have a South African tax number, add your ID number. And then after you must download this form. When you download this form, you must just complete it. It's a simple form that just to prove. And sometimes they will require your a picture, your picture, and then you can just email it back to taxation expert sheet. And then you click apply. And then it will tell you if you don't, you didn't complete anything. I think it's the text details correctly. And after completing this. Now you're done with the username. So you can now activate your shop. And then it will show you. So before you even launch the shop, um, it won't be active because you need to make sure that everything looks nice. So 
it will pull all the products, you can see. And at the bottom, people, when they buy, they can pay using PayPal, Visa, or MasterCard. So this is nice as well. So after, you can just, uh, if you're happy with the details, and if you want, you can just visit your shop on a separate link just to show you how it will look. So this is how your shop will look. You can see. And remember, those products you need to select. So each and every product you select in that design, you need to click at the top. And then after, you just click launch, launch shop. And when you click launch shop, then your shop will be live. Like people can start buying from it. Um, but I, I feel like I need to show you something on design. Let's go back to design. Uh, I want to activate. So if you want to see all the products, all available products, you can click here to get the categories. So maybe on accessories, you'll come here and to activate the product. That's what I actually what I wanted to show you. You need to click here. Now it's activated. Now it's activated. This is after you finish then you click that. This will show in your shop. So if you don't want to sell something, something like this, it doesn't look nice, don't add it in your shop because then it doesn't look nice. If you want to sell this backpack, you click, you do it, you enable it. So that's what I wanted to show you. So if you want to work on heads, you can do that. And then you see, click like that, click like that. And then now it's, it's enabled. So that's what I wanted to share. So I hope you now know how to create your own shop and let's get started. And if you need um, any assistance, I'll ask that you send your question on YouTube comment so that, um, so that I can respond. So I'll keep checking because maybe you probably get stuck somewhere. So this is how you create a shop. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned so much from it. And don't forget to subscribe because I post videos every Tuesday, Thursday, Sundays, and you do not want to miss any of my videos because I put a lot of um, researched content on it. Have yourself a wonderful day. Thank you.